It's been nearly 80 years since the attack on Pearl Harbor killed Frank E. Nichols, the first Eau Claire resident to die in World War II. But it wasn't until recently that his remains were identified. Nichols enlisted in the Navy in 1940 and was assigned to the USS Oklahoma in Pearl Harbor, where he died during the infamous attack. At the time of the tragedy, many of the crewmen could not be identified and were buried in Honolulu in the court of the missing. But in 2015, the military began using new technology to analyze the unidentified soldier's DNA. And for Frank Nichols, they found a match with a living relative. Well, it's sad, right, that his, his family, his direct family, didn't get to c celebrate, bring him home and, and, and at least, you know, mourn that way and then also celebrate his life at that point. So, you know, it took almost 80 years to determine where he was and, and then bring him back to the, I guess, to the, the continental states. Funeral plans have not been made yet, but the family hopes to bury him at Fort Sam Houston National Cemetery next year. The photos we used in this story were used from the Nichols family, the Public Affairs Office of the Navy, and newspapers.com. Now there's much more to this long history, so if you'd like to learn more about Nichols, head to our website at wkow.com.